again, the unit is easy to install. You lift it, you lay it right back down, and you're good to go, honey, okay? Lift it, you take these, press it back down, and then we're good to go, baby. That's it. All right, y'all. So we are back today with another hair video. Shout out to Beauty Forever Hair for sponsoring today's video. And as you guys can tell, curly hair season is in full effect, guys. So they did go ahead and send me their 13 by 4 pre-everything transparent HD lace wig. So this is a pretty curly texture, guys. Very, very nice. Now, I will comment that this unit is actually very, very full. Very, very full. When I put this one on just to test it out on myself, I was like, okay, we give it a lot of density and a lot of length so I'm really excited about that factor just because I know that this is going to be a very easy install and a very slayful install today guys very very slayful so you guys already know this is a pre everything unit so it's hundred percent glueless they did add the tape on the air tab section so make this unit very secure without gluing it down or anything the air tab just makes it easy for you to lift this up and put it back down one thing I recommend is cleaning your surface area before applying the wig down especially applying the tape down if you clean it first it'll kind of make sure that the tape stays and adhere to your size and like I said again all you have to do is lift it and it goes right back down so it stays sticky just got to clean that surface up before you put it down I am gonna go ahead and spray my unit guys with my uh, tinting a uh, spray lace spray and I use I believe the car uses dark brown from red by kisses I always forget which color it is but I'm gonna and I'm gonna spray the inner cap of this unit guys the unit is very nice I'm gonna leave it in middle part style they did all the prefixings to this unit as far as like tweezing it and bleaching it and prepping it so all we're gonna do to Today is a very easy shake and go install so it's gonna be very very simple straight to the point and we're gonna get these curls popping and we're gonna get this unit laid and I'm just really excited about this one because I do have an up-and-coming trip and I'm starting to think that this might be the one to bring on this trip because I am NOT trying to deal with the glue and all that kind of stuff I just need a unit that's gonna stay in place period so let's go all right y'all so straight off the bat just plopping the wig on my head i absolutely love this curl pattern i think this is more like a ringlet type of loose wave type of curl but you guys can see the density on this one is a nice density so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it in the middle part style obviously if i come up close you guys can see that there is some lace that's still left so usually what i like to do is trim that little lace part up so i'm gonna do that around the perimeter right here i am a medium to average cap size so this one fits my head pretty good it's gonna cover right enough where the air tab section land um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray this unit down with my spray like I mentioned before I'm gonna go in with this one and spray it just so that I can melt with my skin tone better we're just tinting the lace with a little spray it ain't that deep go to the beauty supply store get it or check my Amazon store for period so we're gonna go ahead and spray it like I said I'm gonna keep it a middle part style and for a 13 by 4 this actually could be like a 13 by 6 this is a lot of parting space this is a large 13 by 4 cab just to put that out there so I'm gonna keep it a middle part I'm gonna add like a little baby hair swiggle or whatever to it and then we're just gonna keep it pushing like I said to you guys I'm gonna clean the surface right here before I pull the tape off to put this down and we're gonna just do a little razzle dazzle and keep it pushing and if I did not mention already this does come with an adjustable strap so that's also gonna give you that extra security so I'm gonna add the adjustable strap on this one and then we're just gonna keep it pushing so like all right guys so I did go ahead and pull the cover off the tape and I did clean the sides so I'm gonna go ahead and place it down now I did not use the spray on the tape just because it's gonna make it non sticky if I do it just because of oil base so I'm gonna go ahead and just press this down so you see this side this side just press it down so what I'm gonna do for that and for the sides right here is I'm just gonna tap powder on top of it some of my face powder from Fenty Beauty and that's what we're gonna do just because we don't put oil base or anything like greasy on top of it because it's not gonna allow the tape to adhere um, even when you replace it multiple times so I'm just gonna tap some powder into the sides right there on top of it just to kind of help it blend a little bit better you can also tap a little bit of your bronzing powder in that section as well too if you want it to really melt so that part I'm not gonna do any sideburns with that one I'm just gonna leave it like that and obviously I'm gonna show you guys this can lift it up and put it right back down and it stays in place so it's not glued to your head or anything like that you literally could lift it up and put it back down so what I'm gonna do now is formulate a middle part the middle part is there but I feel like the middle part could be like a little bit better even though I personally suck at this but I'm still gonna go ahead and give it my best go just because I want it to be a nice cute little clean middle part so I think that's okay we're gonna go okay for that and I'm gonna spray with some even wonder lace spray just to kind of really freeze that area up so I can get a nice um, 
you know, middle part look going on. You can see the track right there, so I'm just gonna cover some of that up with a little bit of hair. We don't need all that. And like I said, this is a large 13 by four, honey. Like, this is like 13 by six in theory. It's not really a 13 by four in my opinion, but hey, they give in large 13 by fours out of Beauty Forever here. So that's another reason why you should just go out and buy it, because you get in more space. So it's a lot of space for 13 by four. So I'm gonna go in with my hot comb. I thought it was hot, it is hot. And I'm just gonna make sure I like press that down. I'm not trying to move the curl pattern. I'm just trying to get that defining middle part look. Is that right? It don't matter, it's still gonna look fire anyway. So I'm just trying to get the part to show part, to show a little scalp. And I'm also gonna run that hot comb up against the hairline just to open it up a little bit. They did a, a good tweezing job to it. They didn't get like intense. If you wanna go in and do a little intense, um, you know, a little edge up on here, you can, but I'm gonna take it like this because sometimes when you go too far and you start pulling too much hair out, that's when you start getting little ball spots and having like all these little imperfections. So sometimes I just leave it the way they do it just because it's perfect enough for it to look natural enough. You know what I'm saying? So you don't really have to do all that. And I'm just gonna pull probably like two pieces of hair on each side um, just to give myself like a nice little baby hair look because I feel like baby hairs would definitely look good on this uh, type of unit. So you guys already know, I separate the hair from the part. And then I also make sure I drag it across the hair so that it lays flat as well. So drag it up and down. And then I wanna go ahead and spray the even. We're not spraying to the hair down, we're just spraying the spot to make sure that the baby hair and everything stays in position. You guys can already see the hair, look at that, gorgeous. And like I said again, it is super glueless. You can lift this up and put it back down. But we're gonna keep it simple today, guys. I love, love, love this curl pad. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the baby hair. I'm really not good at this, but I'm just gonna go for it. Y'all know I always try to do something. I always make it work out at the end of the day, but I feel like two little baby hairs on here would be really cute, so we're gonna go for it. I got my little mini <laughs> curling iron. I got this from the, that's a curling a hot comb. I mean, straightener from the beauty supply store. It does a whatever job. Like, it ain't gonna do nothing spectacular, but it does what it needs to do for the purpose of the hairstyle. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to curl this up as best as I can. And then we're gonna lay it down. Uh, so as far as laying it down, y'all know I always do the same thing. I'm gonna use the baby hair brush and we're gonna go ahead and spray the comb area with some even and we're just gonna lay the baby hair down. Like I do this and I'm telling you guys the baby hair stays in place even when you pop the wig off. Like, it literally stays like that. So, I usually do two swings in the front. I don't use glue. I don't use any mousse, because mousse messes up with your makeup. If you use the even wonder... <laughs> if you use the even wonder lace uh, spray, it doesn't, like, mess with your makeup, and it doesn't look nasty. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, I'm gonna just use a little bit of this. I use my hand to kind of, like, stick it in place. We're just trying to formulate that little ringlet curl. Cause obviously when you lift it up, you still want to have that like little ringlet curl. I don't know. I feel like even lace just works way better for baby hairs in my opinion. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and define the parting space a little bit more with my Fenty powder as well. Um, I feel like the Fenty powder would definitely just kind of bring this up in the middle. If you want to go ahead and make that part very crisp, you can go ahead and use your spray, but I'm not going to use it because it's a curly texture and I want it to look natural and not too like, I you know like like I got a wig so I'm just gonna clean some areas up a little bit of spray I mean a little bit of powder just to define the parting space out so you don't see any harshness and yeah so there you go I feel like that looks really really good guys so next step again very simple guys talking it through so the next step we're gonna do right now is do a little bit of styling and as far as the styling I'm not going to add that much product to this here Ooh wee I look like, um, what's her name, Reese from LSU. She be having her hair like this a lot too. Such a pretty girl. So I'm gonna go in with my Cantu Shea Butter Wave Whip Curling Mousse. So I'm gonna use this mainly on the top because the top needs to be tamed more than the bottom. I'm gonna go in on the bottom with um, some leave-in conditioner because the hair is very pretty. But we wanna kind of gather that mousse up top like this. Y'all see how I use the hot comb to pull this part up? So we wanna leave that like that because we want it to look you know, like a natural pull up. Look at. Guys, look at that hand. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Already with the mousse on. Y'all can see the look at those waves pop up with the mousse on top. We're already talking about business here, okay? It's giving business, honey. 
So I'm gonna go ahead with some more moves and I'm gonna travel down more now towards this part. And I'm not gonna wave my hands to it because I don't wanna comb any of the curls out. I'm just adding moisture to the hair so it dries up nicely. And you guys can see this part looks like it's like a little bit more loose. So what I'm gonna do is add some more mousse to the inner part right here. There's the inner part of the wig, just to make sure that this part gets a little bit of waving too. So, wow. Straight off the bat, honey, gorgeous. Like, I'm, this might have to be it for my trip. This might have to be it for my trip. This is gorgeous, like, very easy effort. And I feel like this is the type of wig that dries up very fast as well too. So you're not gonna be waiting for a lot of drying time with this unit, and again, the unit is easy to install. You lift it, you lay it right back down, and you're good to go, honey, okay? <laughs> you're good to go. You're just really, 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 really good to go. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's giving business. It's giving business. Gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and work the mousse on the bottom portion. I thought, you know, I'm going to just add it. Instead of fingering through the hair, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the hair around it like this. Because the hair is already very, very wavy. Um, obviously, this is a same day install, so this unit is straight out the box. So you're already getting it packaged very pretty. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm basically amplifying the packaging. I'm not going to run my hands through the curls. I'm going to leave the curls the way they are. This is absolutely stunning, guys. I'm really, really happy with this one. And I'm telling y'all, this might be the wig for my very soon to come trip. Like, y'all know I always feature all my units on my vlog, so you guys will see this one pop up. Most likely, you, oh God, gorgeous. And I usually like to go in with some even one lace spray at the top. And I do this so that the curls at the top kind of like keep the shape, especially underneath here. So the hair keeps its shape underneath there and keeps like a curl pattern without getting too frizzy underneath. Especially in this area right here, I like to spray it. And then what I'm gonna do is leave the hair alone, guys. I don't play with the hair too much after because I want the hair to stay flat. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it underneath here as well. And then, we're gonna go ahead and let this dry up with some of this product in it. And then, I'll be back. So this is a unit, guys, in full flash. Absolutely love this unit, guys. Now, obviously, this is a 13 by 4 unit. It is pre-everything. It's glueless. Today's install was very simple. I kind of chopped it down with you guys, showed you guys everything, didn't leave any parts out. So this is a very same-day shake-and-go style unit. So let me go ahead and show you guys. It is glueless. You can go ahead and lift this up, and then you can go ahead and put it back down and just press it back down, guys, and it'll land perfectly in place. You guys can see it's very seamless and straight to the point. So you don't have to do all that extra spraying glue down, adding a hasty of actually tacky glue on or anything like that. The little air tap tape pieces make it very easy for you to just put it on and take it off. Now, like I said to you guys before, make sure you go ahead and clean that surface with some alcohol before applying the tape, just to make sure that it's not greasy or that it adheres perfectly to the skin. So as you guys can see, it does just that. I'm able to slide it right back down into place with no issues whatsoever. And the same thing goes for this side as well too, guys. You can lift it up and put that baby right back down and we're good to go. So I wanted to do a little baby hair magic too. I did two little swiggles in the front. I think the swiggles in the front just give a little razzle dazzle to the unit. If you wanna go ahead and do this in the side part, you can, but I decided just to keep it in the middle part. Side part is definitely eating with this one too. But I feel like, you know, a middle part definitely gives it everything it needs to give. I was a little worried when I was putting the mousse on the hair that the top curls wouldn't really fold through. But as you guys can see, once the air dried through, you guys can see how nice and wavy this hair is. The pattern looks pretty. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and lift the unit up for you guys completely. So you guys can see that this is glueless. Like, you don't have to do anything. Obviously, my baby hairs kind of do their little thing. But... For the most part, it's glueless. So once you lift it, you take these, press it back down, and then we're good to go, baby. That's it. So uh, very glueless. There's nothing in the front right here. And like I said, the way I showed you guys the baby hair technique, it always works out. I feel like the Even Wonder Lace on the baby hairs definitely does a really good job keeping the baby hairs with that swivel right there. So you guys can see once I lifted it up and put it back down, it's gonna still give the same baby hair formation. Everything else remains pretty nice and clean. So you guys can see that, simple. So I don't know what to tell you guys. If you're not someone that didn't start learning wigs back then when there was not all these types of advanced styles, if you really don't know what you're doing, you can do it now because it's very, very simple and straight to the point. I think this video pretty much will give you 
all the tea that you need to install this unit guys so thank you again to beauty forever here for sponsoring today's video i will leave all the information down below guys including a coupon code and make sure you shop my link if you want to purchase this unit for beauty forever here guys and as always i will catch you guys in a later one bye